guys, it's Shara from Woodshop Diaries, and today I'm going to show you how to make this hope chest slash Christmas storage box slash Christmas tree stand. I'll show you what I'm talking about later on in the video, but for now, let's get building. This video is sponsored by my friends at Craig Tool. This hope chest is a fairly simple build and project to tackle. It's not got any fancy add-ons or hidden compartments or anything, but nonetheless, it's pretty versatile in its functionality. Living in a tiny garage apartment, we don't have a whole lot of room for storage. Most of our Christmas decorations are kept in my shop where they're subject to lots of sawdust and possible breakage. So I had the idea of building a storage bench for the end of the bed where I could store all of my ornaments and stockings to keep them dust free all year. Then, when it's time to decorate the tree, it will also serve as a pretty tree stand box. Once the season's over, I'll just shove all my Christmas stuff back inside and move it back where it goes until next season. Of course, if you don't want to use it as a tree stand, it works well as a coffee table, an entryway bench, or a blanket box, whatever. So, now that you know you probably need one for your house, let's get to the how-to. I assembled this chest from standard construction lumber and used my Craig pocket hole jigs for easy pocket hole joinery for assembling the box. The first thing I did to kick off this project was start building the chest frame. The frame was made from 2x4s and I assembled it using 1.5 inch pocket holes and 2.5 inch pocket hole screws. The only thing I did a little different here was that I ripped the 2x4s that will run vertically up the sides of the chest to 2 inches wide versus the standard 3.5 inches. This is totally optional, but when the front and the back frames are added to the sides, this will make the corners appear equal widths instead of one side being wider than the other. That's just personal preference. I really like the corners to be even. By the way, I'm sharing the full plans for free at the link in the description, so if you want more details on the exact measurements and assembly of this chest, be sure to check those out. So as you can see here, I assembled small frames for the sides of the chest and large frames for the front and back. Once all four frames were put together, I attached them together to make the entire box frame using pocket holes and screws again. Once the chest frame was assembled, it was ready to attach the bottom. I cut a piece of 3 quarter inch plywood to use as the bottom, but if you don't have a crap ton of plywood around your shop like me, you can easily cut this from a quarter sheet of plywood so you don't actually have to buy a whole sheet or anything to make this chest. Next I used my Craig R3 pocket hole jig to drill 3 quarter inch pocket holes along the sides of this piece of plywood to attach it into the box. I like having this little jig for working around large pieces of plywood or for really long boards. But I like having my K4 or K5 pocket hole jig for smaller pieces and shorter boards. If you're in the market for one or both of these pocket hole jigs, check out the deal that Craig is offering right now in the description box below. They've got a pretty awesome package deal on the K4 and also a $15 rebate on select jigs. Anyway, back to the project. Once I had the holes drilled along the edges of the bottom, I installed it into the frame like shown using one and a quarter inch pocket hole screws so that it was about one inch from the bottom of the box. Now things start to take some shape. I cut down my slats to install into the frame to create the side panels. I used one by four boards for this and I just applied wood glue on the top and the bottom of the frame and then I secured these in place using a screw at the top and a screw at the bottom just like shown. I did the long sides first, then moved to the short sides. The plans allow for these to fit perfectly so that you shouldn't have to rip any of these boards down. Again, if you want the plans for this project, don't forget they are linked in the description below. Once the slats were in place, I set it aside to start building the lid. Now one thing to note here, you may have noticed that when the slats were screwed in, there was about a 3 quarter inch lip around the top. If you didn't want a big bulky lid for this chest, you can totally cut another piece of plywood to fit down into this lip and maybe glue some foam and staple some fabric on it to make it like an upholstered bench top. 
That way it can lift up to access the inside of the trunk and then it just sets back down in place. But I opted for an actual wooden lid for this project. To make the lid for this chest, I assembled a 2x4 frame the same size as the chest using pocket holes and screws. Then I cut 1x3 boards to line the inside of this frame and screwed them in place so that there was about 3 quarter inch above them to the top of the outside frame. So it would leave a 3 quarter inch lip all the way around the lid. Before I added the top slats, in order to give the top slats a little extra support, I attached 1x2 boards, just like shown here, across the lid as well so they were flush with the top of the inside pieces. Now the lid frame was ready to install the slats. I used 1x6s for the top slats, but the spacing only allowed me to use two full 1x6 boards and then I had to rip the middle one to fit. I ended up ripping this to about four and a half inches wide. I applied some wood glue along the lip of the frame and the middle support pieces to set these top slats in place. I secured the slats to the supports on the underside of the lid with some screws and then clamped the ends while the glue dried. Once the glue was dry, I finished the top and the bottom with a coat of early American stain and a few coats of poly. Then I brought it inside because it was freezing out in the shop. I attached the lid to the box with a couple of hinges like shown and attached a latch and some chest handles as well. The last thing was just adding some soft close mechanisms to keep the lid from slamming. I will link the ones that I used below, but I like these because you can take a screwdriver and pop out one end of the cylinder if you want it to open the lid all the way for like say your Christmas tree and then when you're ready to use it as a chest again, you just pop these back in place to keep the lid from opening all the way. So whether you need storage, a Christmas tree stand, a bench for your entryway, or just simply a homemade gift idea for the upcoming holidays, this hope chest checks all the boxes. If you're interested in building your own, be sure to check out the plans linked below for all of the dimensions and the materials list. And if you've enjoyed this video, be sure to let me know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on the upcoming projects. Thanks so much for watching you guys and until next time, happy building.